Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com and today we're going to be cleaning up some wood. We do a lot of custom live edge work here at CNCRI.com and it just happens that I have to actually refinish the surface of my CNC router table yet again and I also had to clean up this piece of maple here. So the first thing we're going to do is clean up the maple. What you'll notice is that there's chunks of wood flying absolutely everywhere. Uh, it doesn't damage me or the machine or affect anything really, it just makes the shop really dirty. And the reason for that is because I got a new flattening router bit and I forgot to adjust the foot. The foot it, what, is what covers the bit, so there's a bit of a space in between. So most of the chips, instead of getting sucked in but through the vacuum system, are actually flying all over the shop. I'll show you a couple before and after pictures just, just so you can see how much of a difference flattening live edge does and it actually cleans it up wonderfully too. Uh, light sanding and everything's pretty much done. Now the reason why this was flattened is when you can see it's totally parallel which means it's flat on both sides. The customer will be making actually a table out of this and when you've worked or made like a chair table what have you out of live edge that's totally flat you never want to go back to working with live edge that isn't totally flat because everything is easy to level, everything's easy to assemble and everything's easy to get organized so you have a really nice table. Now the next thing we're going to do is actually flatten my CNC router table. Uh, this is live edge wood. The bottom here is MDF or hardboard or glorified cardboard is what I call it. And the reason why I got to flatten that is different than this. This is for furniture which makes uh, building a lot easier if it's flat. And the router table needs to be uh, cleaned up surface wise and there's nothing wrong with the table itself the way it is now for live edge work and most of the work that we do. Uh, it does cause a problem though when we use our vacuum system which goes under the table. If the surface is a little bit rough it creates pockets for the air to get sucked out and it doesn't have a really good hold for material. So we do like custom cabinetry. Uh, for instance we need something to be flat but we also need something to stick to the table and that's why we need a flat table. you can see the finished sacrificial board totally flat very much cleaned up and it's going to pro provide amazing adhesion uh, for our custom cabinetry jobs coming up. Now this process here takes a little bit longer but basically with the same process with the live edge is what I did for the tabletop here. This is made out of MDF which is basically glorified cardboard and that's wonderful because it provides a lot of friction uh, for our project. So in addition to stuff that maybe might shift on us, because of the vacuum table it holds it down, but the friction of the MDF as well 
helps to make sure things don't move around. So looking for custom CNC router work? Contact us at cncri.com and we'll make it for you.